Hi, I'm Scott from Shire Walks, and today we're looking at wood gas stoves. Now, there's loads of different wood gas stoves in the market, but this one I picked up for about £10. Now, for such a small, compact package, it really is quite incredible. The principle is simple with the wood gas stove. As you know, fire needs oxygen to burn. It burns like a normal fire, initially, but as the heat rises, it draws more air through the sides, resulting in a second combustion. And this not only is a cleaner burn, so your pots don't get all blackened and dirty, I mean they'll still get blackened and dirty, but not nearly to the same extent, but it also is super efficient. Your wood just burns for ages. Even though I'm only feeding this with a few bits of kindling, it still burns really hot and really well. The problem is, because it's so small, you can't feed it with large pieces of wood, which means it needs constant attention. This is a bit difficult, especially when you've got a pot sitting on top, you can't just simply place the wood inside. This is the reason why I chose this wood stove over others. Most wood stoves, they don't seem to have this small gap here, which means when a pot's sitting on top, you need to take the pot off, put the wood in, put the pot back on. That's just a little bit of a waste of the heat from the fire. This one does have a gap, which means it lets out some of the heat, but it still means you can watch your fire a lot more closely. Now when I'm going out camping, I wouldn't actually take this stove. I take this stove from messing about in the woods, but for me, it's just a little bit too heavy and also it makes a horrible clunky noise when you're walking. One really nice function about this stove is if your flames do die out, the embers still stay alight for ages as you're getting a real draw of oxygen across the embers. Which is great because you can just load it up with a bunch of extra wood. Blowing it a bit get your face covered in smoke and hurt your eyes, but your flames will reappear within minutes. Ta-da! I want to cry. <laughs> all in all, for £10 you can't really go wrong. I mean, if you're going to be coming out into the woods, having a play about and want a fire that won't spread, this is fantastic. Burns well, it cools down quite fast after use, packs up small and it's uh, it's great. Anyway folks, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Feed in the fire. I love to feed the fire while the wind's blowing and my audio's gonna be shit.